Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryden Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're gonna get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your AG exotic dealership inside your GTA V folder. So guys, make sure you download all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. And make sure you guys download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description as well. Once you guys have completed that, okay, all you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Just to let you guys know, I am installing this mod in the clean folder, so there's absolutely no mods in the folder except for the mods folder in here. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to install the requirements. So make sure you guys got the latest requirements too. Open up your Scripthook V extract folder and go into your bin folder and select input 8.dll and scripthook v.dll drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now open up your scripthook v.net extract folder and select scripthook v.net.aso.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your GTA V main folder now we're going to install our trainers Open up your trainer v extract folder, select trainer v.aso and .ini, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Open up your menu extract folder, select menu stuff folder and menu.asi and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now guys this is optional, you can download it if you want to. This will be inside my download, so download map reveal and open interiors. Once you guys have finished downloading map reveal and open interiors, then open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder. And then now select all three files that's inside the extract folder and then drag it into your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. The next thing we are going to do guys is right click, refresh the folder, right click and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Once you guys have completed that, press enter once and press enter again and then go and open up your native UI extract folder and then now select native UI.dll file and drag it into your scripts folder. Now we have fully completed installing our requirements. Once you guys have fully finished with your requirements, all you guys gotta do next is right click and refresh your folder. Now guys, we are going to install YMAPs. So to install YMAP guys, you need an update folder inside your mod folder. So if you guys don't have an update folder inside your mod folder, then I will leave an update folder inside my description inside my downloads okay so download the update folder guys if you don't have one i already got one over here so i'm just going to copy it and go back and now paste it inside my mod folder once you guys download the update folder make sure you extract the folder and then paste your update folder inside your mod folder like what i just did once the download and install is completed, all you guys gotta do is back out of there and now you've got a complete brand new mod folder. Go to your mods, go to update, go to time64, go to DRC packs and as you guys can see, you've got a complete clean DRC packs folder. Now guys, inside my downloads, there will be a wine map install. Make sure you guys download YMAP install and then extract the folder. Once you guys extract the folder, then open up the folder, guys. And then all you guys got to do, okay, is 
go to custom maps to K folder and you drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Now all you guys gotta do is right click and edit with notepad. I will leave notepad plus plus inside my description for those who doesn't have one. Now all you guys gotta do is just scroll down, down, down the bottom. Now copy the custom maps. Okay guys, copy it. Now exit out of here guys, okay. All you guys gotta do is, is exit out of your white map extract folder. And then go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click, refresh your folder, exit out of your game folder. Open up your open IV, head to your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, go scroll right down the bottom guys to drclist.xml, make sure you guys click on edit mode and select yes. Right click and then go to edit. Scroll right down the bottom guys and then press on the items on the side with your with your mouse and push into once and then paste your code right there guys save your code go back to your drc list.xml file and double click to check to see if your code is there then custom mouse yes my code is there exit out of your application edit mode gta v now we're going to install our og dealership okay now go to edit mode select yes go to your mod folder go to update go to time 64 go to drc packs go to custom maps go to drc.rpf go to time 64 go to levels go to gta v go to d go to city Go to maps and then now go to custom maps and then now all you guys gotta do okay is open up your your open up your OG extract folder. Now you'll see another um, folder in there. Open up that folder guys and then now all you guys gotta do is if you guys do see a wine map file inside the wine map okay just delete it okay you guys don't need that. Make sure it's empty, fresh, and clean, okay? Now, go to the OG uh, dealership dot map, okay? And then I'll drag that inside your YMAP folder. And there you go. Exit out of your extract folder. And then now go to GTA V. Then, uh, and then go to edit mode. And then exit out of your open IV. Then now all you guys got to do is refresh your desktop and then I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back again guys. So now we are going to go and check out the dealership guys. Okay, so the dealership will be around about here somewhere in Los Santos Custom. Uh, where is oh, there? So we are going to teleport here guys. Okay, so let's see what does the dealership look like. The thing so there guys it's blocked off. Oh yep, yeah, it's there. So guys, here is the dealership. Come put ya. Wow. This is an awesome deal dealership bar by the way guys. What you can do, okay, if you're doing a role play, you can um park up cars over here and then uh, you can sell cars and then uh, oh, yeah, then you can, I I have already done tried it too guys, you can park cars in here too, you know, between these flowers. So, we're going to start over here guys, okay, we've got a car that is sitting here uh, in the middle of nowhere. And you can come into the Los Santos Customs if you want to, you just need a car to drive in. Now over here we've got uh, our office over here to you know to sit down and people can talk about like um you know when you go to buy a new car or etc and that goes with this office over here too you can sit down and just sign the forms to buy the new car 
There's this guys, this this dealership is awesome, I like it. We've got our stage two, this is awesome. Uh over here guys we've got let's look look like this. Uh, hang on. Yeah, this looks like the security room, hashtag um admin room, admin area, I don't know. And over here we've got the upstairs and outdoor. This is where the where the uh, employees can park their vehicles. Um, so yeah, this is a cool um, cool dealership. I might use this. Yeah, I might use this dealership in one of my uh, Grand Theft Auto V real life mods or uh, films. If you guys uh, know what I mean. So we've got the helipad over here, this is pretty cool. Now we're gonna go up here guys, because we haven't been through here. And I'm guessing this is the manager's office. Yes it is. The manager's office. This is where the manager sits, he's got his briefcase full of money. Pretty good, pretty good. Briefcase full of money. Jukebox, we got a car coffee. Machine over there, nice, nice, nice. Uh, we got this, this ornament there, some flowers, nice computer. We even got a gold bar sitting over there at, out of nowhere. That's nice, nice. We've got a nice lounge area. You can play some Fortnite or play some Roblox. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And over here, oh, yes, this, this room over here, guys. This room is the security room. You gotta, we, we gotta put it on, uh, push the numbers um, to enter the room. Do, 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 do. There you go. And now over here we've got the oh, wrong door. Over here we've got the money room and hashtag gold room. This is where all the gold is made and the cash here, guys. We're drying all the cash. More money, guns. So yeah, this is a pretty cool, guys. I like this. And in there is a vault, but you can't get in. I have already tried um, seeing what is behind the vault, but there's absolutely nothing behind the vault. I'll show you guys. See, guys, I'll show you guys. There's nothing behind there. It's just nothing. Yeah, nothing. See. <laughs> so there's nothing behind the vault. If you guys want to know, there's nothing behind there. Now over here we've got like a lounge area where we can just sit down and relax, the waiting room. So yeah, but I don't know why this gas thing is over here. It's just for us to to sit down and sniff gas. Oh my goodness. So yeah guys, that is the overview of this mod. I really do like this mod guys. So we're going to go and have a look at the whole overview guys. This is what the mod looks like, okay, from the outside, and even from up top, and even from the back. So guys, that's what the mod looks like. This mod is pretty awesome. I really like it, and guys, make sure you guys do download this mod, okay, guys? So, I hope you guys do like this mod. And guys, if you guys are stuck with this mod, then please let me know, and I'm more than welcome to help you guys, okay? So, with that I said, guys, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys do, then smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace, and I'm out.